find the cumulative distribution function for the random variable x, which is the number of sixes that appear in 60 rolls of a fair die. In this particular case, the random variable x is a discrete random variable. So we begin by attempting to write down the probability mass function for that random variable. On the far right over here, I'm going to start by laying out the support of the distribution. When you roll a fair die 60 times, you could get zero sixes, or one six, or two sixes, all the way up to you could get 60 sixes. Very unlikely, but possible. The probability of a rolling a six on a single toss of a fair die is one sixth because the outcomes of each of those 60 tosses are mutually independent. To find the probability of getting x sixes, we want to take our one sixth and raise it to the x power. The probability of rolling a non six on a single trial is five six and we will have 60 minus x of those so that gets raised to the 60 minus x power. Now that expression which we have written down there 1 6 to the x 5 6 to the 60 minus x is the probability of exactly x 6's and 60 minus x non 6's in a particular order. So we want to account for the various orders and we do that by putting 60 choose x out front. That is to say there are 60 choose x different ways of placing the x sixes in positions amongst the 60 rolls. And now that we have that in place we want to calculate capital F of x the cumulative distribution function which is the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to little x. Well, following the pattern from the previous example, that will be the sum from w equals 0 up to the floor of x of f of w. And that will turn out to be the sum from w equals 0 floor of x of 60 choose w, 1 sixth raised to the w power times 5 six raised to the 60 minus w power. And that particular cumulative distribution function will be good for x values running from zero from negative infinity to infinity. On the next page, there is a plot of that cumulative distribution function as a step function and here is our code which will do the calculations and make the plot. The first line x gets set to the vector 0 to 60 so that includes the, all the support values 0, 1, 2, 3 all the way up to 60. Little f of x is going to be 60 choose x 1 6 to the x 5, 6 to the 60 minus x. Capital F of x will be the cumulative sum of little f of x. And then finally, the plot function uses the step fun function. And it has arguments x and capital F of x. Type equals L connects the uh, values with a line. And you get the plot that you see below. Now you can see that most of the activity here is on the x values between the ranges let's say 0 to 20 and that's because it is very unlikely out here that you're going to get 20 or more sixes when you um, roll a fair die 60 times.